friends, imagine that you need to collect information from several web pages for analysis or future projects. Usually this means long hours of copying and organizing everything by hand. And if the task grows, you either spend more time or consider hiring a developer, which quickly becomes expensive. I am Daniel, and in today's video, we are looking at BrowserAct, an AI-powered web scraping platform that turns data collection into a clear no-code process. Instead of writing Python or JavaScript, you describe in plain language what you want, and the system builds an automated workflow for you. It saves time, reduces effort, and removes the need for technical skills or extra outsourcing. And for many people, that difference alone can cut hours of manual work each week. And the best part is that you can start completely free, so you can test everything without paying upfront. Guys, make sure you check out all the useful links in the description after watching this video. There might be some nice discounts there. Let's jump right in. Folks, BrowserAct is an AI tool that helps you collect information from websites without writing code. You describe the task in plain language, and the system turns those instructions into an automated workflow that runs in a real browser. It handles navigation, interaction with page elements, and structured data extraction while keeping the process simple enough for anyone to follow. This approach saves time and reduces manual effort, avoiding the usual costs that come with hiring developers or building custom scrapers. In practice, you get a cleaner and more predictable way to gather the data you need. And since BrowserAct uses a credit system, the pricing stays straightforward. One dollar equals 1,000 credits. You only spend credits when your workflow performs actions, which keeps costs predictable even for beginners. Guys, I opened the AI Workflow Builder, and the interface shows a clean start node. BrowserAct uses a node-based structure, which means we build the automation one step at a time using simple blocks. Before we create the workflow, let me show you something many people overlook – the template gallery. BrowserAct includes ready-made templates for common tasks, so you can start with a pre-built workflow. Instead of creating everything from scratch, you can open any of these templates, preview the steps, and run them instantly, which helps when you don't want to start from the very beginning. For this test, I'll create a scraper that collects all articles from my blog, including titles, authors, and short descriptions. It's a typical task for content audits or website analysis, and BrowserAct handles it step by step. By clicking the plus icon, I see the full library of operation blocks. Folks, the library shows clear tools for each action. The Visit Page block handles navigation to the site, the Extract Data 1 collects the information we need, and the Click Element 1 interacts with buttons or links. There's also a Pagination block that helps the system move through several pages when the content is spread across multiple sections. And if you prefer starting with a template instead of building from zero, many workflows already include these blocks pre-configured. You only adjust the target site and the fields. Mates, let's start with the basics and walk through the workflow step by step. First, I add the visit page node and enter the URL of my blog. This blog opens the site inside the live browser, so I take a moment to look at the structure before choosing the next action. On the home page, the articles sit under several categories. The technology section has enough content and visible pagination to make it a practical example for this test. Next, I add a click element node to move into that category. Here, I describe the button in simple language, and the system understands what I mean without extra selectors or technical details. It highlights the right element and prepares the next block automatically. After that, guys, I bring in a loop list node. This part is important because BrowserAct needs a loop when you want to collect more than one item from a list. Inside this loop, I place the extract data item, and this is where I describe the fields I want to gather from each article. It can be the title, the author, or a short description, and the system reads those elements directly from the page. Guys, before we move on, I try to make my content fun instead of boring. And in return, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy the content I make. To make the loop work correctly, I define the container that holds the articles. This tells the tool where the repeated items are located on the page. If the site had a Load More button, I could enable automatic clicking to reveal more posts. 
My blog uses standard pagination, so why skip that option? I set the scraper to collect up to 25 articles, and once it reaches that point, the workflow stops naturally. Friends, inside the extract data item, I describe each field in clear language. The tool checks what actually exists on the page and gathers only the content it finds. If a field is missing, it simply moves on without adding empty values, which keeps the final dataset structured and clean without unnecessary clutter. To finish the workflow, I add an output data node and choose CSV as the format. JSON, XML and Markdown are also available. Next, folks, I could save it as a file or stop the task on unusual behavior. But here's where Browser Act becomes far more powerful than just download a CSV. Instead of exporting the file manually, you can push the output straight into automation tools. Browser Act connects to Make, N8N and Zapier, so your scraped data can move directly into your existing workflows. This allows it to update documents or trigger actions automatically without extra steps. Now, folks, I publish the workflow and start the run. The live browser opens and I watch every action in real time. It loads my site, switches to the technology category and begins the main loop. The system goes through each article, reads the title, author and short description and extracts everything into structured data. The loop continues until all visible articles are processed or until the target number is reached. In this test, it found 24 posts and completed the task successfully. After the run, guys, I see the full output with clean fields. Since my site does not include publication dates inside the cards, the scraper didn't try to create that field. It only saves what's present, which helps keep the dataset clean. I can download the file, copy the data or use it for further projects, such as research or building a custom chatbot. And if you want to integrate this output into a real workflow, you can send it directly to Google Sheets, Notion, Airtable or into an automated pipeline inside Make or N8N. Guys, Browser Act formats the data, so the workflow can continue automatically without manual cleanup. There is also a detailed workflow view, the output file, step-by-step -step screenshots and logs. Everything is visible and easy to follow. Friends, if your work involves research, analysis or any kind of structured data, this platform can make the whole process feel lighter. It keeps things organized and reduces the time you spend on manual routines, which helps you focus on the parts that actually matter. It stays simple enough for everyday use while offering the kind of control that supports larger tasks. This product has shown itself as a helpful companion during my work, but the decision to use it or not is always up to you. Folks, I hope this overview supports your choice. And because you can start for free and only pay for the credits you actually use, it stays accessible even for small projects or one-time tasks. Have you guys used similar tools before? Share your thoughts in the comments. Feel free to check out the links in the description below. You might find some discounts there. As usual, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Until next time.